Hey, this is Cubition. This is my third tutorial in my Zen Adds of Effects tutorial series. This tutorial is about how to touch up instruments designed in AdSynth. Um, this is a tr relatively short tutorial. There's really not much that I'm showing you. Um, and this is just for quality. So, a couple things I like to use a lot. First of all, is octaves using harmonics. Usually you just have your basic waveform. Sounds like so. However, if you want to give it a more punchy feeling in your face, you can crank up 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, basically double the numbers as they go. Um, just those specific harmonics. And if you don't change the phasing, and it goes like that, then it'll actually create an octave effect. So, you can clearly hear the different octaves with that, and I mean, it's even more prominent if you go all the way up to 32 and stuff. Above 32, it's really just ridiculously high. If you ever use the 64th harmonic to create octaves, uh, it might make somebody's ears bleed. Because that's plenty high enough if you're looking for a high end. So, anyway, so you can create octaves with that, and it's very handy. I use that frequently to make my synths more punchy. So, next matter of business unison. Unison basically takes an oscillator, copies it the amount of times you specify with this choosing box and detunes it within a random amount that you specify with the slider. So this means I have two oscillators and they are detuned randomly within 9 cents. Makes it a bit more stereo. If I turn it up to 10, you'll be able to tell better what it actually sounds like. It's kind of an interesting sound, but you can turn the detuning up a lot. In fact, there's a trancy sound for you. Um, you can actually change the stereo spread of those voices. Um, uh, so that way you can have all your different instruments differently spread to uh, create a better surround. So that's very nice. Having a large amount of voices and a very small frequency spread gives you kind of a car horn. Very interesting. So, that's unison. I use it extensively. It is one of my favorite parts of Zenad Sub Effects Ad Synth. The next thing is a vibrato using the frequency LFO. Right now, the depth is. At zero, you just turn it up to something about within that range. Too much, and it'll just sound stupid. Um, LFO frequency. This will sound best when it's in the range from the point sixes to the point sevens. Too much, and it's too fast. Too little, and it's really slow, and also sounds stupid. So, if I have it about that, should. That's actually a bit fast, I think. So you can definitely, <laughs> it's a bit much, but you get the idea. You can create a vibrato effect with the frequency LFO. So then the last item of business is being able to control this with the bandwidth knob. Bandwidth determines how much detune is applied to the instrument. Now this works with your uh, bandwidth in pad synth 2. So if I have unison on, so you can actually change how much um, uh, that is. You can basically change the frequency spread um, uh, using this bandwidth knob, which is very, very, very handy. Um, so. 
So that's my short tutorial on how to touch up some AdSynth parameters and hope you make some rockin' instruments with it. Alright guys, like, subscribe, and make music and stuff.